Welcome to another episode of Peter's Projects. I'm going to talk a little bit about our garden um, and how we've decided to use the string method for growing our tomatoes this year. In the past, we've always used cages, but after learning about the string method, really was drawn to its elegance, the neatness, and the fact that you can grow more plants in a smaller area. So with the string method, as you might imagine, you, we are going to have the tomato plant grow straight up a single string. To do that, we are gonna only keep one main stem and clip off all of the side stems, all of the side growth, um, which are called suckers. So I'm gonna show you that on a specific plant. So the suckers grow out of where the main stem is and where the leafy branch comes out, this is a sucker. So if allowed to continue to grow, this would become another main stem. So we're gonna go ahead and just remove that. Okay, here's an, on this plant, here's another one. This right here is another growing right out of that leafy branch. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. So we do that on all, every tomato plant continually along as it grows so that there's only one main stem and it grows up this string wanted to give you an example of a sucker that's been allowed to grow for a little while. So if you look at this plant here, here's the leaf that has come off the main stem, which is here, and then out right at that intersection, this is the sucker. Now this is a lot larger than the ones um, we clipped earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this now. One thing to note is if you have several of these on one plant, these larger uh, suckers that have grown to this size or more, you don't want to cut them all at once. It can be too much of a shock to the plant. So we're, we're just doing one at a time. Make sure the plant's fine and then go back um, in the next day or so and do, a, do another one. All of the varieties of tomato that we have chosen are indeterminate. So it's, the plant is either going to be a determinate variety or indeterminate. Determinate varieties continue to grow until they're killed by frost, so about eight or nine feet. So we, we made our trellis eight feet tall. Uh, determinate variety of tomatoes, this, this method isn't as useful for. Um, they only grow to three or four feet, so you don't get, get the benefits of having um, this long um, string of growth. In addition to removing the suckers, we've also removed the lower leaves. And this is for a couple different reasons. First, by removing the lower leaves, the plant, um, there, there's, there's less potential for disease. Um, and then secondly, the leaves that are below where the fruit grow take away and take energy away from the fruit production. So we, all, we obviously want to have as much energy put into the fruit themselves, so we've removed the lower leaves. As for the trellis itself, um, we built it ourselves, just decided to try to do something really simple. Um, we decided on half inch electrical conduit that comes in 10 foot sections. It's really cheap. It's only about $3.50 at Home Depot for a 10 foot section. Um, so it works well. It also can be flattened very easily either using a vise. So you can see either a vise or a hammer. So these two sections are flattened and then that way we can, we can drill through it and just bolt the sections together. So this has worked really well for us. It's an in, inexpensive solution um, that seems to work well. Once we had this actual structure in place, we placed the strings about 12 inches apart and then we were ready for planting. We've done, a, we've done some plants. You can see these taller ones that are almost as tall as me. These were about um, planted about five or six weeks ago. And then just a week ago, we planted additional seedlings. So we're trying to kind of spread out our, our uh, harvest so that we will get tomatoes earlier with these plants and these will continue on longer. So that's how it's going so far. We're really happy with the results and we're looking forward to eating our tomatoes. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about this method or about what we've done in the structure itself, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll, we'll go ahead and answer them to the best that we can. Uh, and happy gardening.